Y'all, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man, Sean, and we got to talk about a unique strategy that a lot of producers probably have not thought of when it comes to blowing up and having their complete business situation set up. But first, I got to thank this video 100% to Henny, the business. If you don't know who he is, he's a super producer. This is a strategy that he used to blow up or just a way of doing business that he used to blow up. Ran into him the other day, had a short conversation. As always, the guy's just dropping gems left and right. So listen up, people. So I know a lot of producers are out there just roughing it. You're going it alone, getting your grind on, making your beats, doing your thing. Great, I'm happy for you. And I know there's some other producers out there who have managers. That works well too. The managers might be getting 10%. The managers might have multiple producers. However, your situation is set up. But here's a third option that Handy the Business did. And that is having a partner. And I wanna start off by saying everything that I say isn't necessarily his exact business setup. So don't really quote me on anything like that to say this is exactly what he did. However, I'll talk about the concept of the things he did. So when you talk about a manager versus a partner, cause I know a lot of you guys are gonna wonder, what's the difference? Well, one of the biggest things that you probably wanna go ahead and think about is there's a bigger percentage that they're likely taking from the money made from your beats. A manager traditionally is, you know, 10%. We always hear that number thrown out there. Maybe it's more but a partner is really somebody who's in it with you. That means, yes, you might be a producer, but this partner is just a part of the company just as much as you are. And this might sound wild to a lot of you guys, and Henny said himself that a lot of people will be telling him that, but obviously it worked out for him in his situation. He blew up, made these big, big hits with Chris Brown and Jeezy and all these other types of folks. And he doesn't seem to be too bitter about it either. Now, when we get down to the nitty gritty, one thing that he said why it was so beneficial for him was just the fact that he's an introverted guy particularly back then, he just wanted to make beats all day. Just like a lot of artists say they want to just make art all day. Well, he was going heavy, heavy, just making beats. And he had his homeboy, somebody who could get out there and figure out where do we get these beats placed or who can we get these beats in the hands of. And a lot of times that just takes hanging out, being in the right place at the right time. It's not necessarily about grinding and being a great salesman. It's just about building relationships and staying at the club till 5 a.m. in the morning or depending on what city you're in, it might only be like 1 or 2 a.m. But you got to be out in those environments. And if that's not your personality, it can be very beneficial for you to have somebody involved just as much as you are so they can push and feel incentivized to sell for you. So now you have somebody who's full blown, let's get this stuff placed, let's get it sold, and someone who's full blown, hey man, let's just create. Create, create, create. It doesn't mean that you as a producer should never try to make relationships or anything yourself, but it just means that you have someone working for you around the clock to get that done. Now, one of the cons of this situation is, Kenny said after they ended their partnership formally, when he did want to continue to do certain types of things, he had to learn, you know, how to build certain relationships himself, just be out there. That wasn't his thing because he liked to stay inside. So he had to work on that. However, he's put that work in. If you come out and you meet him anywhere random, the dude has a good personality. He doesn't really seem like he's some introverted person. So that's something you can learn. Just understand that this might be a great route for you, especially if you're a producer who's not in a certain type of city. Maybe you might have a cousin or a homeboy that's in a good city that's better for moving beats. And then you just keep working, working, working in whatever city or town that you're in. Maybe you're somewhere in Kansas and you make a lot of trap beats and you got a homeboy in Atlanta. Just keep this strategy in mind. I'm not saying that everybody has to do it. It might might not work out for everyone because you guys all have different incentives and way of working things, but it's something to be considered. It has worked in the past. And Henny said he knows other people in the industry that have found a lot of success doing a similar thing. But for the last time, each situation is its own. So make sure you do it with somebody that has the skill set and also has your trust because a partner is a far bigger commitment, a manager in my mind, at least. And last but not least, once again, check out Henny the Business content on all platforms, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Like he really, really has some of the dopest content, especially for producers in the game. To me, man, like for real, for real, I'm a huge fan. And as I've been saying again and again lately, for the rest of 2018, I will be answering people's questions every Sunday on Instagram. So 
also follow that at brand man shine that's me other than that i would love to know what you guys think about this type of business structure, this plan for blowing up, because think about it. Hey, now you have somebody working for you 24 seven, you can just stay focused and they can stay focused. Specialization. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.